know I am a homeschool mum and I am therefore getting a lot of books quite often so I thought I would do a little book haul with you um, and show you the books that I've got this month. So some of these books are from the library as well but most of them I've bought. So the first book that I'm going to show you is called Farmer Boy and it's by Laura Ingalls Wilder and she is a great author um, and this was written almost a hundred years ago and it's it's just lovely it's just a nice time for children to learn about when everything seemed so innocent and um you know things were made from scratch and she really goes into detail about things like that in here you know how the clothes were made and what they were wearing and what they would eat and how it was cooked and where they got the food from and everything so it's really lovely so I've got this for Odin who is eight and he's really enjoying this so far. We've only read the first chapter but he's already really enjoying it so I would highly recommend that book. Also we've got this um, book by the same author called Little House on the Prairie, very famous book. This is supposed to be her best book apparently, loads of people recommend this book. So we haven't read it yet so I've got that for us to read as well. And then I've got kind of a couple of Halloween type books. <laughs> this really sort of dark version of Hansel and Gretel by Neil Gaiman and I actually read this to Scarlett who is only three and you might not want to read it to a child as young as that if they are a bit, I don't know, scared of certain things or you don't want them to hear kind of horror stories or anything but she loves it. She <laughs> She really likes horror stories. So she really enjoyed this book and I really enjoyed it as well. And I also like the kind of dark pictures inside as well. Just something different and something to get you in the sort of Halloween mood. <laughs> Another book I got for kind of Halloween, this seems a bit strange, is this um, knitting and crochet book by I don't know who say that, is it Arnie or Arne and Carlos? But yeah, it's got a little Halloween section and you can make this doll and I thought that might be quite fun to make. And also this one. But it's got absolutely tons of amazing patterns in here. Um, there's also some, oh, there's other dolls that you can make which are not Halloween dolls but just for any time and I love all the clothes that you can make for their wardrobe I think that's so cute. So I might be making some of those and then there's patterns for socks and there's cushion covers and jumpers and cardigans and also there's a Christmas section as well which I'm probably going to do some of. And yeah, so I yeah picked that up from the library um, and I'm really enjoying it so I might have to renew this and use it for quite a while. The next book is called Into the Jungle, Stories from Mowgli um, and this is like jungle book characters and we've just read up to like almost the first chapter so far. I'm reading this to Henry who is um, six now and he is quite enjoying it and this has got lovely pictures in as well. Really lovely artwork and Henry really appreciates the good pictures as well so it's a fantastic book, another one I recommend. Another excellent book that I have picked up is this one, A Stage Full of Shakespeare Stories, Twelve Tales from the Bard Retold for Children. Um, and this is such, such a good book to teach children the Shakespeare stories. It really brings it all to life. It's got a little uh, bit on the first page that shows you all the characters that are in the play that you're about to read about. And then it's got some nice pictures in. Um, so that's Romeo and Juliet. And then we go on to Hamlet here. And again, you've got the characters on the first page and then it goes into the story. And 
it's really good really fantastic lovely big book good quality good thick pages and yeah just love it it's so good really really beautiful so it has got Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, Othello, As You Like It, Hamlet, A Midsummer Night's Dream, Julius Caesar, Much Ado About Nothing, The Tempest, Twelfth Night, King Lear and The Merchant of Venice. So if you want to teach your children some Shakespeare, this is really great. So yeah. Next I just got a really little thin book um, about Britain in the Industrial Revolution because that is what Samantha is studying this term. Um, and it's it's pretty good you know it just lays it all out nice and clearly um, it's got some good pictures which she can copy into her book if she wants to and it just sets it out nice and simply and yeah makes it a little bit more interesting I think so it's called Britain in the Industrial Revolution Another one that I got for Samantha is uh, The Gruesome Truth About Victorians and this is probably a little bit young for her but it just, <laughs> Samantha is now 15, no 14 sorry, she's 14 years old now. Yeah it's a bit young for her but um, she still enjoyed it and again it gives her some ideas of what she can draw in her book, she can copy some of the pictures. These are quite comical pictures in here um, and it has little true or false sections in there and it just gives you some unusual facts about the Victorian times. So that's that one. And then a book for myself I got is Waldorf Education and Anthroposophy by Rudolf Steiner and this is just um, a copy of his public lectures from 1921 to 1922 so probably not for everybody to read you know it's only if you're really interested in the Waldorf philosophy and things like that but I am really enjoying it so if you're into finding out more about Waldorf then maybe you would enjoy it. Um, another book I got a while ago but I don't think I've mentioned on here so I'm going to say talk about it now is called All Year Round A Calendar of Celebrations and I absolutely love this book. It's got lots of ideas of different things that you can do with your children throughout the year and keeps it within season and make things for certain festivals throughout the year. So for example we just recently celebrated Michaelmas and it gives you a little rundown of what Michaelmas is um, and then it gives you ideas of what you can do so it gives you um, a recipe for a harvest loaf um, and it tells you the story of uh, the harvest loaf as you make it. You can tell this story to your children. Um, and it's got some music that your children can play here and how you can make a Michaelmas candle with a dragon on it. And how you can make um, a dragon out of conkers. And you can make a shooting star kite, it's got all the directions in here and it's got the templates at the back somewhere and then there's other things that you can do to make the middle mass dragons like you can make a dragon out of bread dough and then cook it and then it goes on to the next section is Halloween and there's a Halloween gingerbread house that you can make how to make a Halloween witch, a turnip lantern uh, and then it's got some ideas about having a Halloween party, what you can do and so on. I mean there's just loads and loads of stuff in there. So I love that book um, and we always use it throughout the year so that is definitely highly recommended that book. <laughs> then I got this book it's called all, The All New Woodworking for Kids. It's got lots of different projects that you can make with your children. Um, and what I really, really like about this book 
is first of all it gives you the different techniques that you can use when you're using different tools and stuff but then it gets you to actually make some of the tools that you're going to need so for example um, the first thing is it tells you how to make a mitre box which is really I thought that was excellent so you don't have to buy a mitre box you can just make one and then you can use that mitre bo box to make further projects in the book also teaches you how to make a toolbox again I thought such a brilliant idea <laughs> so simple but really good a compass tool so you can make one of those and a bench hook and then the best bit of all a, a complete whole workbench that you can make so if you've got some space in your garage or somewhere then you know that's excellent to be able to make that um, and then you go on to start making different things so you've got a birdhouse um, oh loads of things what else have we got a bike stand really good useful things a rope ladder <laughs> Uh, what else? This is one of the things that I really want to make with Odin, um, a, a favourite things shelf and I think that will be good to store some of our things that we collect on our nature walks. So that's a really good useful book to have. The All New Woodworking for Kids by Kevin Maguire. And last of all, I got this book, Handwriting Cursive. Um, and I'm not really very happy with it at all. <laughs> um, I, I, I should have looked more before I bought it. But there's just some of the letters that I do not like. For example, the capital G, I do not like. The, um, what else was it? The, the Z. I do not like. That's supposed to be a capital Q. And oh, I just think it looks awful. Also what annoys me is that the T, the lowercase T, um, goes right up to the top of that line and it shouldn't. If you know how to write properly, the T should come just below that line. So I really don't like it, I shouldn't have got it and I'm going to sell it on eBay or something because I mean we haven't used it at all and I'm just not impressed. So I'm going to have to find something a bit better. If you have any recommendations then please let me know. So I hope you enjoyed my book haul, it's the first one I've ever done I think. Um, but I think I'll be doing them more often because like I said I'm always getting books anyway because there's lots of people that I need to buy books for and we love books and yeah I think I'll do a few more book hauls if you enjoy them and I'm soon going to be filming some more vlogs and DIYs and crafty things and recipes and things like that so I will be doing lots more videos soon so thank you very much for watching the video and please give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again soon bye